Welcome into Kentucky Derby 143. I am Dorian Craft here with Alan Cutler. You know, Alan, everybody wants to be in the Kentucky Derby, but this wasn't supposed to happen. Now, uh, Brad Kelly's an interesting guy. He's what's called a pin hooker. He buys a horse to sell it and make a bunch of money. He actually did it with Iraq. So he buys his horse, Gervin, and he doesn't want to keep it. Right. He can't sell him, okay? There was all kinds of reasons he couldn't sell him, so they kept him. Well, now he's in the Derby. I mean, it's crazy. <laughs> and, and he's really good friends with Joe Sharp, the trainer. Right. But Joe Sharp, the trainer, and Rosie Napratnik, mm -hmm. the great jock, they work together. She's the assistant trainer. Yes, she is. And it is a very special love affair. <laughs> And these two turn for home together in the Kentucky Oaks. And untappable and Rosie Napravnik have taken the lead. Greatest female jockey ever won two Kentucky Oaks and two Breeder' Cup races. Her second Breeders' Cup win was more than classic. And untappable has taken the lead. After she won the distaff beating the older ladies, Rosie announced that she was pregnant with Carson and retiring. Now the mother of two beautiful boys, she works for her husband, a rising star, trainer Joe Sharp. Rosie is an assistant trainer, but is the world's greatest exercise rider on Gervin, their derby horse. Gervin is better than any of the horses that I've ridden in the derby were at this point in their careers. Brian Hernandez was Gervin's jockey, but he decided to stay with his friend Ian Wilkes and McCracken. Those connections have won the Breeders' Cup Classic. Mike Smith, one of the great money jocks of all time, takes over. When it came down to the decision of who's going to ride the horse, um, you know, I would like to ride him myself because I know him better than anybody else, but that's not realistic. After all these years, 34 years, I still really love my wife, but my wife would not want to work with me every single day. No way. And trust me, Keith and Dorian, they would be on my wife's side. Think about Joe Sharp and Rosie. They worked every day together and somehow not only is it working but they are thriving in their relationships no it's good We're, we have a good balance i mean you know she's got to come sometimes leave her feelings at the door but uh <laughs> when it comes to work and uh you know and and then you know it's all we're fine and and we've both you know she's she's had to deal with uh you know trainers and relationships and, and things throughout her career as far as uh, in the workplace yes it's different being at home and it and, and, and at work um, but I don't know I guess it is it is weird that we make it work but we make it work well and they do much to their credit and it's what a great comment by Rosie and she's humble but she said I'm the best person to ride this horse <laughs> I know it but it's not realistic well what's important to her life is she has two beautiful sons they are adorable they are adorable and she's so proud of Joe and they work it out and, and this is a tough thing to do but bless both of them for getting it done well it was really sweet she tweeted out a picture of her two sons earlier this week mm -hmm. she said in the chaos of derby week these two are what keep us grounded so really a derby family it's great to see and we wish them the best of luck absolutely today so Haley and Chris send it back over to you guys All right, Dorian, Hi. Alan thank you both so much 646 uh, just